A good scientific question, in my opinion, is one that is aimed at a broad picture. It asks a, generally a very broad and important question that has major implications beyond the simple answer to the question. So it will not simply shut off the door once it's finished, but it will open new doors, new avenues for research. My name is Sebastian Klinger, and I'm the head of the Laboratory of Protein and Nucleic Acid Chemistry. My lab is interested in ribosomes. These are macromolecular complexes composed of RNA and protein, and they are essential because they make all proteins in cells. We know that defects in ribosome assembly can be traced to different types of diseases in humans that range from anemia to cancer predisposition and other diseases. Most of our research is aimed at understanding how ribosome assembly factors work in different cellular compartments to bring about the formation of such a huge assembly and to understand the quality control and the different mechanisms that are employed to form the ribosome. We're using a combination of different tools that include yeast genetics, very traditional approaches, um, but also new chemical biology techniques. Nowadays, we're using BIEM to really capture rare particles in the cell that are in the native environment, in a close to native environment. So I'm very lucky that I have a very international lab, so people come from different backgrounds with different interests. Within the lab, they formed a very collaborative community so that people can join different teams to look at particular problems that are especially challenging that wouldn't be possible to pursue as a single person. We need to make sure that the next generation is not only scientifically trained, but also trained to love science the way it should be pursued, with a good question, with the right approaches, with a creative approach that's enjoyable for people to look at, to make discoveries in the most intuitive ways possible. I think that's ultimately what's going to last. Not necessarily big papers, splashy stories, but it's really the legacy is the next generation, where they go, what they do.